Hey, what's going on out there, United fans and football fans from around the world? What a great win today by Manchester United. They beat uh, Nottingham Forest 3-2. Well-deserved win, finally, as a way to make up for that embarrassing loss to Tottenham last week. But let me just say this about this game. First half was just the most embarrassing performance United could have ever given off, especially the way how they conceded that first goal of just the way how they conceded that first goal, I don't know what kind of goalkeeping that was, but uh, that was just some of the worst goalkeeping attempts I've ever seen on um, on that particular goal. Just because it seemed like that Onana either lost his composure right there because I don't know what he was trying to do right there. But it's like, you know, he just, uh, I really think that if you're going to come off your line, you just need to, you know, be ready to just, you know, just grab the football with your hands. Kind of like how Neuer is really, uh, you know, good at doing that. But Onana's goalkeeping right there was was just uh you know obviously I feel like that I guess he lost his balance and he fell which is why United conceded that first goal and then second goal was just an absolutely just a terrible defensive play you know and it just goes to show you here that United man our midfield really needs to get it together especially for uh for the next matchup against Arsenal because you know if we play like that against Arsenal then Arsenal they are going to batter us if we don't uh you know try and figure out how to uh, if we're going to, in other words, give Arsenal all the space in the world next week, they could just easily hit us on the counter. So, yeah, but uh, United, you know, Ericsson, he uh, scored. And after Ericsson made it 2-1, to the game thankfully fell into United's favor. And we were able to just to get a W. And it was a great uh, win today by Manchester United. Very, uh, very nerve-wracking game, I might add. But, um, you know, that penalty, Bruno Fernandes came up in the clutch for United, and he netted a penalty, and now United, they uh, pull away with the win, we got the three points, Arsenal, they dropped points today, so hopefully we can take advantage of that next week for when we play Arsenal, because I'm still confident heading into the Arsenal matchup, but if there is one takeaway I have from this game, is United, we still need a forward, and we still need another a box to box midfielder to complement Casemiro and uh, Bruno Fernandes, because what a lot of people don't realize is if United can just land a good box-to-box -box midfielder, then that's just going to make players like Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro, you know, that's going to give them more confidence, because that's really what United need to do, is just do that to complement them, and why have they not uh, done that is beyond me, but that's what I think United should do, is because people don't understand the difference, you know, people don't realize how much of a difference it makes having a box-to-box -box midfielder, just, just look at Real Madrid, you know, look how Modric, arguably the best box-to-box -box midfielder, and especially you add Tony Kroos right there, that's what's been able to help stay Madrid at the top, especially after Cristiano Ronaldo left. Like, that's what United, I think, should do if they want to um, win trophies, if they want to start competing for Premier League trophies and Champions League trophies in the future, because that's the way how you uh, win in today's game. Just um, And also having a forward helps too, and we need a forward badly too to complement Marcus Rashford, because today uh, Rashford's performance was uh, just uh, kind of uh, average, if I'm being honest here about, uh, you know, if I'm going to analyze the way how Rashford performs today. And on that free kick goal, when United had a chance to make it 4-2, I don't know what the heck that was. Was, but uh, I feel like Bruno Fernandez should have just basically struck the ball because I think he would have made that because that was just very close towards goal and with Bruno Fernandez I definitely uh, believe he would have made that goal because he tried to do a quick pass off right there to Rashford I believe uh, and all that stuff but um you know nonetheless United man we pull away with the win three to two great dub and we got to start a winning streak, okay? So, yeah, Arsenal dropped points today. And the only thing we need to do right now is just take advantage of that, okay? No excuses. But our midfield uh, today, you know, this game just goes to show you we need a box-to-box -box midfielder.